In the authentic hadith narrated by Imam al-Bukhari, the Prophet and his Sahaba were on a military expedition. There they are, they're walking in the desert at night because it was in a time of severe heat. And they're walking in the desert at night because you can't walk in the daytime. And they would camp out during the day and wait for night to travel. And before time to travel came, everyone would go to use the bathroom and come back. Aisha, who was traveling with the Prophet on this military journey, she goes, she returns, and she says to the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, Al Uqd, the necklace you gave me, not gold, not silver, beads, black beads strung with a string. I can't find it. And the Prophet says, look for it. She says, Ya Rasulullah, I've looked for it. I don't know where it is. And the army has raised up the tents, packed the camels, and are ready to start on the journey, waiting for the command of the Prophet ﷺ. What does the Prophet say? He says, everyone unpack. Aisha is looking for her necklace. Anha. You and I, you're in the airport, and your wife says, oh, uh, I lost my watch. Forget the watch. Get on the plane, woman. I'll get you another watch. What kind of watch? How much was it? 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 100 bucks? I'll get you another one. Don't miss the plane. They're in the middle of enemy territory, in the middle of the night, in hostile territory. And the Prophet says, everyone unpack. And he orders his army, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to look for the necklace. So there you have Abu Bakr and Umar walking around in the darkness of the night, in the desert, with the enemy surrounding them. And they're, where's this necklace? Abu Bakr, he comes to Aisha, her father, furious. And the Prophet was asleep. And Abu Bakr comes and he says, Ya Aisha, how could you do this? All of the Sahaba, you made Umar, Umar radiallahu anhu, is running around the desert for your beaded necklace. Taqillah. And she was quiet. No one finds it. Why did the Prophet ﷺ do that? Simple, family. He loved his wife and wives Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He inconvenienced a whole army for her. Can you imagine how Aisha felt? Allahu Akbar. 